California is once again showing clear signs of intensified seismic activity. Stretching along the western edge of the United States, California sits directly atop one of the most complex and dangerous tectonic systems on Earth. This region marks the boundary between the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate, where immense forces have been building for millions of years. At the center of this tectonic tension lies the San Andreas Fault System, a vast network of interconnected faults extending more than 800 miles, 1300 kilometers, across the state. But the San Andreas is only one part of a much larger and more intricate seismic puzzle. Over the past several weeks, monitoring agencies have recorded a noticeable increase in earthquake activity across multiple regions of California. These events range from small, barely perceptible tremors to moderate earthquakes capable of causing localized damage. While none of the recent earthquakes have reached catastrophic magnitudes, scientists emphasize that patterns, not single events, are what demand attention. Seismic data from the United States Geological Survey shows clusters of earthquakes occurring along several fault zones, including parts of Northern California, the Central Valley, and Southern California's complex fault networks. In some areas, dozens of earthquakes have occurred in short time frames, forming what scientists refer to as earthquake swarms. Earthquake swarms differ from traditional main shock aftershock sequences. Instead of one large earthquake followed by smaller aftershocks, swarms involve many earthquakes of similar magnitude occurring close together in time and space. These swarms are often linked to stress redistribution, fluid movement deep underground, or slow fault creep, processes that can quietly alter the stress balance of nearby faults. California's tectonic environment is uniquely dangerous because of its strike-slip fault motion. Unlike subduction zones where one plate slides beneath another, the Pacific Plate and North American Plate grind horizontally past each other. This motion causes stress to accumulate when faults lock, releasing energy suddenly when they slip. In some regions, this stress is released gradually through small earthquakes and fault creep. In others, it remains locked for decades or centuries. One area drawing particular attention is Southern California, where dense fault systems intersect beneath heavily populated regions. The San Jacinto Fault, often overshadowed by the San Andreas, has shown notable activity and is considered by some seismologists to be capable of producing a major earthquake. Farther north, seismic instruments have detected activity near the Hayward Fault, a structure running directly through the eastern side of the San Francisco Bay Area. The Hayward Fault is considered one of the most dangerous faults in the United States due to its location beneath urban infrastructure and its long history of powerful earthquakes. According to long-term geological records, the Hayward Fault produces major earthquakes roughly every 140 to 170 years. The last significant rupture occurred in 1868. That means the fault is now well beyond its average recurrence interval. While scientists are careful to emphasize that earthquakes cannot be predicted with certainty, the combination of historical patterns and present-day seismic behavior keeps the region under constant observation. Another concerning factor is stress transfer. When earthquakes occur, they do not simply release energy locally, they can also increase stress on neighboring fault segments, sometimes bringing them closer to failure. This phenomenon was observed after the 1992 Landers earthquake and the 2019 Ridgecrest sequence, both of which altered stress conditions across Southern California. These changes can persist for years or even decades. In addition to tectonic faults, California's seismic behavior is influenced by human activity. In certain regions, wastewater injection, geothermal energy production, and fluid extraction have been linked to increases in small-scale seismicity. While these events are generally minor, they add another layer of complexity to an already unstable system. Geologists also monitor slow-slip events, which occur when faults move gradually without producing strong shaking. These events may relieve some stress, but in certain cases they may also transfer stress to locked fault segments, increasing long-term risk. 
One of the greatest challenges in California is not the lack of data, but the sheer volume of it. Thousands of seismic stations continuously record ground motion, feeding real-time information to scientists around the clock. Despite this advanced monitoring network, earthquakes remain fundamentally unpredictable. What scientists can do is assess probability, risk, and potential impact. According to official estimates, there is a greater than 99% chance that California will experience at least one magnitude 6.7 or larger earthquake in the next 30 years. Such an event would be capable of causing widespread damage, especially in densely populated areas. Modern California is deeply interconnected. Power grids, water systems, transportation corridors, and communication networks all depend on infrastructure that crosses fault lines. A major earthquake does not need to strike directly beneath a city to cause severe disruption. Past earthquakes have demonstrated that secondary effects, fires, landslides, liquefaction, and infrastructure failure often cause more damage than ground shaking itself. Liquefaction is of particular concern in coastal and river-adjacent regions where water-saturated soils can temporarily behave like liquid during strong shaking. Entire neighborhoods can lose structural stability within seconds. Another growing concern is earthquake early warning systems. California's shake alert system can provide seconds of warning before strong shaking arrives, allowing automated systems to shut down trains, pause surgeries, and alert the public. While not a prediction tool, it represents a critical layer of risk reduction. Scientists emphasize that heightened seismic activity does not mean a major earthquake is imminent. However, it does serve as a reminder that California's tectonic engine is always running. Stress is continuously accumulating. Faults are constantly interacting. Energy is being stored beneath the surface. California's history makes one fact unavoidable. Large earthquakes are not a question of if, but when. For now, monitoring continues. Data is analyzed. Models are refined. Emergency agencies review preparedness plans. The ground beneath California has always been restless and it remains so today.